Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Today, August 11th, um, they released the official XXL 2020 freshman list cover. And as usual, not everyone is pleased. And around this time, I don't disagree with them because I've seen a couple things that I didn't agree with. But who knows? I could be wrong. Who knows? It is what it is. So, also, I just want to say to the young artists who didn't make it this year on the cover, don't worry. Keep on grinding. And um, that don't mean that your work is any less than great. It don't mean that it's trash. It don't mean you're whack. It don't mean you didn't grind. It don't mean none of that, bro. You just got to keep working, put in the work, put in the time. If they didn't realize it, trust me, you might end up like a few artists before who wasn't on the freshman list cover and ended up having a fire year the next year. And guess what? Double XL had to call them and now end up giving them their own cover. You see what I'm saying? So pretty much the grind don't stop. You know, um, you just gotta keep going. And uh, it's almost like the people that in your life that tells you that you can't do something and you end up doing it and excelling, and then they coming back into your life and being like, yo, I always knew you had it. I always knew you could do it, yo. You the truth, you the... stop lying. Cut cut it out. You know how to go. Um one thing I also got to say, too, the staff at XXL, I don't know who's in charge or what, but the staff needs to realize that these young artists take this cover seriously, and so would I. You see what I'm saying? If I work so hard, I work my butt off, um, it's no different than the five mics and the source from back in the days when magazines kind of dictated as an MC if you was really liked or if you was really nice or not. You know, for the people that know um, the five mics and the source, that was like everything from back in my day. Um... You know, I don't want to say back in my day, but basically, uh, the source ain't around no more. I mean, the, the, they around, it's just that these magazines ain't like it used to be with all the social media going on. It's really no need for magazines anymore. You see what I'm saying? Back in the day, you had Vibe, you had the source, you had the Double XL. Uh, then you had the magazines with the girls, which was Smooth Mag. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm, leave, I'm leaving a couple out, but true. Trust me, when it comes to magazines, Vibe, Source, and Double XL was the number one. I would subscribe to all three. So I can tell you right now that those three magazines was the one. You see, in favorite artists, uh, they, um, in the Source, they gave them whether um, five mics or not to let you know if um, the album or the song was trash. Um, you just seen them stunt. You've seen pictures. Now, like I said, social media kind of took that all away. You can see your uh, favorite artists for free now. You just go on their page. You know, they stunt. They want to be a center of attention, too. So, like I said, that kind of took away from the, the whole hype with the magazines or whatever. Um, now, getting back to the double XL thing, I think the people that's making these decisions, uh, I personally feel they need to be more tapped into what's going on. Right? Instead of just watching Billboard and seeing who's charting, because this isn't the first time that this happened. It's almost like when the election come around, the popular vote don't count, but the rest do, and the people get mad and they ain't pleased. This kind of, this kind of remind me of that. You see, for some reason, because like I said, the people they they never pleased at these covers. You have a couple people that they like, but for the most part, <laughs> it's like, uh, who are these people? Like, you see what I'm saying? On the flip side, um, that is a tough job to do. I must, I gotta keep it honey. To sit there and you gotta narrow down hundreds of rappers into like what like 10 rappers however much that be on that cover don't be that much but you gotta narrow it down you see what i'm saying it's too much artists but i feel if you're in that position you gotta be like a real hip-hop head you gotta really do your homework because like i said it's a tough job but at the same time people take it serious so you playing with people's feelings you playing with people's craft you playing with people's work so that makes me question also how does it like how these people actually pick the artists for it? They never really say it. They never really give you an accurate pinpoint um answer on how they actually pick these artists for it. I will hope that it's not no money thing. I will hope that it's not no billboard, all of you on the charts. None of that. I will hope it's none of that. But you never know. I remember watching one of the um Breakfast Club videos on YouTube, and they had the lady on there who job it was basically to handle the freshman list cover. Um, I think she was the editor-in-chief, and her name is Vanessa Statton. Um, now, I don't know some of y'all feel, I don't know how some of y'all feel about this, but if I'm not mistaken, I think she's white. Now, we're not going to say there's no racial thing, there's no bias, no discrimination, prejudice, none of that. Get that out your head. You see what I'm saying? 
like I said, not being racist or any of that, but some of y'all know how I feel when it comes to the culture being dictated by quote unquote others. We ain't gonna get into that, but others. I just feel you gotta be tapped in more to have that authority over the culture. You see what I'm saying? And who knows us better than us? Who knows what to look for in us better than us? Who knows that air? We dictate what swag. We tell, now I mean, we dictate the looks, what to wear, the fashion, all that. You see what I'm saying? So why is it right for another culture to come in and tell us what we should be listening to or what we should, you see what I'm saying? It's our culture, right or wrong? You see what I'm saying? And it goes hand in hand with the police officers from the suburbs um, who who basically live in the suburbs, but they're police officers, so they come and police the hood. They, they police the slums. It makes no it makes no sense to me. It has no correlation, and I think that's where the confusion lies. You see what I'm saying? That's where the confusion, the confliction, that's where it lies at. But like I said, that's a whole different subject. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong too for that. Like, let me know if I'm wrong for feeling that quote unquote others shouldn't be sitting here dictating the culture when we the one that's in control of what's hot. Now, I mean, you might feel it's racist or whatever, but I'm going to say it's not, and that's facts. Like, I know me, I'm not racist. Y'all y'all know what it is already. You see what I'm saying? But then again, every year, like I said, they got backlash, man, when it comes to this cover. Because you got artists who feel they should have been on that cover, and they're not. And I'm going to keep it a stat. Let's be honest. A lot of these artists do be delusional. They be thinking they're the hottest thing, smoking. They put in the most work. And it was really doo -doo. Let's be real, it was really doodle. -doo. You see what I'm saying? But then you have times where they really have missed out on some people that actually deserved it. You see what I'm saying? They got some people that really deserve that shot. Um, I don't know. So I right, look, this year, right? It was Rod Wave, um, Mulatto, Fabio Foreign, 24K Gold, Polo G, Cowboy, NLE Chopper, Lil Key. Chica, Lil TJ, Baby Keen, and Jack Harlow, right? Now, out of all those names, I can't be biased and act like some of them don't deserve it. That's like, let's be real, let's talk facts. Some of them definitely had some major impact and shit, right? People like Rod Wave, you see what I'm saying? Big impact, and he been smashing these songs and got everyone bumping them from the hood to the charts. I give it to him, you see what I'm saying? 5 year foreign. Um, with his biggest song being Big Drip, that song alone has been killing the hood as well as the charts. And his tape was decent as well. I give him that. He's definitely holding it down for New York right now. He had that song with Drake. Um, and he's definitely been doing his thing. Like I said, he's been holding down New York. So I can't I think he also deserves it, right? Polo G. Now, he um that's a Chicago artist. I'm not too big on his music, but I heard some of his songs. And I can say they're relatable, and I actually like a couple of his songs, but I am not gonna sit here and tell you like, yo, I listen to him. Ah, no, you see what I'm saying? It's not a preference, but boy, do got some songs that I actually heard. I'm like, all right, I like them. You see what I'm saying? You can hear the pain. You could, you know, he really grinding his way to the top as well from being from Chicago, where it's like a war zone. Not too much people make it out. Let's be real. You see what I'm saying? He also had a good year. He got, a, he got his respect from the hood. Uh, he been charting. He been keeping his name low. So like I said, I give that to him. Who else? You got Lil Key, right? Lil Key, he been smashing stuff. I give it to him. Going viral on TikTok. Um, his sound is like some eerie, uh, melodic. It's just different. I give it to him. It's, it's, he got like a weird voice. When I first heard him, I'm like, are you serious? Like, this who's getting on? But it took me some time. I ain't gonna lie. It took me some time to get into that boy. Um, but his music is good. I give him that. He's from Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so he got that Atlanta crowd, and a lot of people from Atlanta actually vouch for him. You see what I'm saying? His new mixtape, Trapped on Cleveland 3. I don't know if it's an um, album or a mixtape. I know it's on iTunes, though. I actually like it. He got a few bangers on there. I was actually listening to it the other day, so I give him that. But when it comes to all of them, I personally feel um, Jack Harlow, right? He probably had the biggest impact with features from Lil Wayne. Um, his song "What's Poppin'," um, I actually like it. And it's going. It went number one, if I'm not mistaken. It went number one, and it's charting on Billboard. Period. You see what I'm saying? And I actually like him because he's from. First of all, he's from Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> Let's get it right. He's he's from Louisville, Kentucky. 
he don't look like an average rapper, bro, that you would listen to. But the boy actually could rap. You see what I'm saying? He was founded by DJ Drama, so he got that whole stamp behind him. Uh, and you can check some of his freestyles out on Shade 45, on Bars I95, and a few other stations where he actually showing off some of his skills. And to be from Louisville, Kentucky, his punchlines, his metaphors, everything is on point. I give it to him. I give it to him. Now, for the ones that I didn't name, it's not that they didn't have big songs either or make an impact. But one, they aren't new artists. All right, they're not new artists. Um, NLE Chopper, he has one of the biggest songs as well um, on that cover. Um, what is it called? Walk Him Down. I actually like it too. I ain't like it at first, but I like it. And I follow him for a minute. He used to do these freestyles um, that he recorded and made YouTube videos where he showed mad guns and he was young. So that's kind of actually what drove me to him because I'm like, yo, who this young, light-skinned dude kind of look like Chris Brown and he got all these guns in his video, bro. And, um, it's called Shatter Flow. Like I said, Shatter Flow. Uh, he got part one, part two, and part three, if I'm not mistaken. But once again, I feel he was already out prior to this year. You see what I'm saying? So I don't think it'll be fair to sit there and, you know, put him necessarily on the cover when you got other dudes that actually came out at the right time and been putting in that work. Especially Lil TJ. I see he's on the cover. He's been out for a little minute. I don't even think he should have been on that cover because... Like I said, not hating. He had a few good songs this year as well. But I just wouldn't categorize him as a freshman. I think he came out in like 2018 or 17. One of them. He came out one of them times with that song. You see what I'm saying? And he actually was good. Like like I said, that song was hard. I give it to him. He, he made an impact in New York. Who else? Cowboy. He's another one. I think he came on the scene around the same time as little TJ. Matter of fact, yeah, um, the Envy Me song, that song came out in 2018. Yeah, 2018. So automatically, I think that disqualifies, that disqualifies him from the list because it's 2020. This ain't 2018, so he don't qualify as a freshman. Chica, I don't even know who that is. I'm not even going to hold you. I don't know who Chica is. Um, And I'm into music heavy, so there's no reason that I shouldn't know who that is. No reason. Um... Like I said, I don't know. Maybe he put in some, he or she put in that work. I don't know. Um, Satan goes for Baby King. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Y'all could let me know in the comments. But I don't know if these SoundCloud artists or YouTube artists. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know these names. And 24K Golden. I don't know the. Listen, I don't know these names, so I can't even get into it. So that should. I think that disqualified them off rip because, like I said, I'm a hip hop head. I listen to music. I'm a music head no matter what. R&B, music, any of that. I listen to it. So I damn sure will know your name. As far as Mulatto, um, she got this record called Muwa. It's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I give it to her. She basically labeling herself the female Gucci man. All right? So that's kind of like interesting. You know, Gucci man being like the boogeyman of hip hop, they label him. She been going on this campaign where she pretty much like recreating a female version of Gucci man. And like I said... It, I like a few of her freestyles and songs, but she's another one that been out here, I think, before 2020. So I don't think it's fair. You see what I'm saying? I'm not discrediting anyone, but to me, fair is fair. Give these people that came out that actually been buzzing, that been buzzing a fair chance. Now, here's the part where I tell you the artists that I think should have been on the list. You got Jay out of Prince, right? He been making noise in New York for, um, I mean, for like the past 2019, 2020. He been making noise. I mean, he got a great, like a good melodic sound. He got like an A Boogie slash Drake vibe to him, but his music is fire. He got good concept. He put you in the mind like a hood version of the weekend, to be honest with you. He been working hard too. See what I'm saying? Like, and he a young boy, so you gotta give respect. I think he from um, the Bronx. You see what I'm saying? So, and I ain't gonna lie, your first look at him, you're like, who this weird? This, now he look a little weird. Hey, the boy look a little weird, but his music is fire. I give it to him. Um, like I said, good concepts, all that. Next, you got Chef G and Sleepy Hollow. I don't know too many of y'all. Y'all may be from New York or maybe not, but they've been putting on for the town in New York. 
right? They've been going back and forth, putting out song after song with dope visuals. That's one thing I can give them. Their videos is crazy, and they've been dropping constantly. Their videos look like they out already. Look like they made it. Look like they they some real big rappers. But I think the problem is they haven't had like they haven't had like that Billboard hit. That's the only thing that could be putting them on um, behind. But once again, I'm sure they will. You know, they just gotta keep grinding. But I think they they put in some work. Um. Uh oh, Griselda. Oh my God. How we? How did? Listen. How did they have Griselda on this list, bro? Benny the Butcher, Conway, Westside Gun. They've been going crazy, and they've been doing it. I don't know, like they've been doing it before they got signed. As far as they merch, they merch been selling out like crazy. Their music, they selling out um SOBs. Um, they putting out hits, they freestyles, everything. Yo, listen, they've been ripping it. That's that's those are the three artists that I could say that I'm probably the most upset about that didn't get that double XL cover. That didn't get on there. But I'm hoping it's one of those situations where they like, you know what? Y'all too big to be on a cover with people. We're gonna give y'all your own cover. Cause they done that before. I think Benny should be on there. I think Conway should be on it. See, I don't want to single them out because they all put in that work. My personal favorite is Conway, but lately Benny been Benny been on his joint. Benny been on his job. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. And if you wanna, yeah, like I don't know. Maybe I, I, I'm hoping they get their own cover. I'm gonna just hope they get their own cover. I'm leaving at that. But yeah, double XL, y'all dropped the ball with um the them Griselda boys, Benny the Butcher, Conway, Westside Gun. Then they got some young spitters under them that be spitting. Listen, y'all dropped the ball. But next, um, if you want to go to the R&B side, I would have to say Summer Walker, right? Summer Walker, Summer Walker. Her album was fire. A lot of women like her too, and a lot of dudes like her. I like her music. Her songs have like good concepts and they got like good vibes. You see what I'm saying? It's different. It's not just that bashing men and men is dogs and that prostitution. She want to sell her app. No, it's none of that. She got real good concepts, bro. In fact, when I leave here, I'm actually going to listen to that um, to her album too. Yeah, I listen to a couple of little R&B and there, right? So, last but certainly not least, R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. They should have found a way to implement him in there some way, somehow, because, because out of all of them, he had the biggest impact. Facts. I don't know if you want to correlate that with his death or anything, but honestly speaking, he had a big buzz before he was even killed. His album did good numbers. And like I said, his buzz was just retarded before he even got killed. So some way, somehow, I think they should have, you know, paid a little tribute to him. Now, once again, I don't know if it's going to be like them Griselda boys or where they're going to have to figure it out. They're going to have to sit there and um, think of a way to give him the, give him his own cover. But I don't know. I think they should. I think that'll be a good idea. So um, rest in peace to that man. My condolences to his family as well. Um, I don't know. That's about it, y'all. Um, I think we covered everybody. Y'all see the list. Um, if I miss anybody that should have been on that cover, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you feel the double XL cover was actually accurate or inaccurate, um, let me know in the comments as well. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I may slip. You know, these are my opinions. This is why we have this here where we could talk to each other. You let me know. Maybe you could put me on somebody that's buzzing. Maybe you could put me on somebody from your city, your town, your state, or whatever that I need to get up on. And um, maybe I'll do a video or something, something on them if I like them. Who knows? All right, y'all know what to do. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time I drop some comments. And I'm out, y'all.